Hey dear fellow collectors, today I got a new video for you and it finally arrived. FedEx took forever. Here it is. Now, let's take it out of the box. All right, here it is, out of the box, wrapped in tissue. I have yet to see what it looks like in person. I've only seen photos and um, I've seen like one review on YouTube. I haven't seen anybody make reviews about this except for one person. But, yep, I'm excited to see this beautiful girl in person. Oh, the box is really pretty. The colors are really nice. Sorry for the glare. Here's, you see, Gala Collection doll. As those who know, Angel Kent designed this particular doll, doll, doll face. Beautiful face. She's become very, very popular with a lot of collectors. Um, here's some information there. You guys can um, read that because I am not doing that. So we have that. The bottom looks like this. And then we have information in the bottom right here. And then here on the side was a pink premiere. And on the other side, we just have the black. And then you have a window here. So no further ado here, going to look. Let's see. Oh, she is lovely. Very nice. Very, very cute. I love the glitter in the back. Super cute. And then you see in the bottom here, pink premiere. Very, very nice. Super light. Doesn't weigh anything. So let's open her up. Yeah. Now, as we also know, there is a Juan Gabriel doll uh, with the same face mold as this one. Um... Yeah, I'm not gonna keep this box, so. Uh, I've been contemplating if I should get it, you know, been thinking about it, but I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't, I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. I do want it because of the face. Oh, wow. Wow, super cute. Okay, so the back. I have the TV on in the background, so if you hear that, sorry. Okay, I love the simple packaging here. She comes out very easily. I like to just fold these. And what I'm gonna do is I am, I'll be right back. Okay, viewers curious to know what the background looks like. It looks like this from the box. Here is her little stand part. Yep, let's throw this out. This doesn't matter. These stands, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of these stands. And I get it's because of the Model Muse body. And then you have this in the back. It looks like this. Okay. There's a little bit of tape. Uh, like this. A little bit of tape. Okay. This is going to take some time. Let me get some scissors and I'll be right back. Okay. Took everything off. She still has a little bit of stuff in here, which is wrapped inside. She does have Velcro on the back, but if you look closely, there is a little stitch there. And I think the stitch is purposely there to hold it in place while it's in the box. Because it has this whole plastic thing in there. So... I guess I will have to cut off this stitch maybe here. So let me do that. Okay, so what I did here is I just literally just cut it right there. Right here. So the stitch is behind the Velcro. So all I did was just took the... I wasn't able to snip it with, this, with the scissors. So what I did was I actually just um, rubbed it and just like basically I sliced it. So it came off really easily actually. So... We have that going on. Okay, so she does have a plastic underneath her to pr basically protect her from staining. So let's take this dress off and let's take a closer look. Okay. Let me. Oh, 
Okay, so she has this necklace and it's wrapped in those little stupid little plastic thingies. Okay. Okay, so how would I do this? Uh, my God, it has... It's been a while since I had a doll with all this shit on it. Oh my God. Okay, this came off. Okay. Okay, this... I'm gonna take it off. I know this is to keep the dress up, but I always cut these things off. It's worthless. Okay. What you gonna do is... I'm gonna pull... The dress down and this is what you get so the plastic is intended to protect the body from staining so knowing my ass i'm going to be redressing this doll a few times okay there's the body so model muse but i believe this is the same body that mariah carey has in her doll i'm not a huge fan of the model muse body but I don't mind that this one is a little curvy. Kind of like that. Very cool. Okay. And you have the bracelets. I'm going to take this off. And you have a ring. Her hair is super long. She does have some box hair. That is, this is going to be an easy fix. So I'm not worried about that. I'll be able to fix that. It's tied right here. With a little bit of a band, rubber band here. She does have some slight product right here. Okay, and then you have the earrings. Okay, let me just back this light up a little bit. She has her earrings. Super cute. So now, let's remove... I guess the plastic is to prevent the pieces from the earrings coming apart. That makes sense. They easily come right off. Look, if I just pulled it, comes right off. All you have to do is just grab it from the plastic part and just pull it out and it pops right off. Super easy. She has this little cute ring. Let's put her little hand there. It's shaped like a little heart. Her nails are painted, which is a good thing. Um, let's look at her shoes. I really like these shoes. They're a little soft. Can live with that. She does have her toes painted. Okay, let me see. Get this light. Let me zoom in. Yep, you see the toes are painted. Again, her nails are painted. And of course, like I always do, I always look at the back. Well, not always, most of the time. So you see, is a 2019 Mattel face sculpt and then you have her beautiful little face here I mean, it has like some stuff there yeah it's like some product on the face from the gel look at that that lip color looks really nice super cute so in person it, it's so funny because on the photographs it looks so much blue like the blue is like really, really strong. But when you look at it close up like this, you can really see some other colors there. She definitely has a dark blue, but on camera and on photographs doesn't really translate that much. It really shows more blue on camera. Well, in person, I would say in person it looks more blue, but in camera you can see the different colors in the eyes. Let me zoom in more. So you see her eyes. Super cute. A little twinkle in the eyes. Look at that. I love this lip color. It's super cute. See the hole there. We have... I'm like extremely zoomed in. So you could see like everything up close. Everything. Let's look at the back. Made in Indonesia. And you have your stamp there. So cute. The face is just everything. Super cute. She has product on her forehead. You can see the sheen right there. A nice little wipe. We'll do the trick. Okay. 
Now that we looked at this beautiful girl and in all her little glory. Oh, side view, side view. Look at the side. Super cute, right? So a lot of the times when dolls like this have that flat look to the eyes where there's not a lot of dimensions in terms of color like the liner and the, sh and the eyelashes and whatnot, the eyes look flat. So when they look like this, they look wonky eyed like some of you guys called it. Her eyes look wonky. But her initial pose is supposed to be, it's supposed to be like this, right? So when you look at her like that, she has this eye that looks kind of weird, but that's and that's on purpose. Her eye looks the way that it does because she's giving you a side glance. So a lot of the times people think that she has wonky eye, but that's not the case. This is what the eyes are supposed to look like. So for instance, here's a vintage Barbie. We see her eyes, they're facing forward. Um, it looks very symmetrical, but when you look at this one, side by side, you see that the eyes look different. Why? Because her eyes is supposed to, she's supposed to have like this look like this. Like she's giving you this angle and then you have this. So if this doll had this set of eyes, it, it would definitely look weird as well. But I can, I, you know, I feel like this doll is giving like a, a nod to this doll here and not, not this one particularly, but in the era of these dolls, like in the 80s and 90s Barbies. But yeah, look how far and different everything has changed. Crazy, right? Well, anywho, uh, let's look at the outfits. I'm trying to make this video really quick. Let's look at this dress. Okay, so the dress is lined inside. It's lined in the inside. Look at this, the whole entire thing. Let me zoom out a little bit more. This whole entire dress is completely lined you know a lot of people were talking shit oh it looks cheap or whatever the case may be blah 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 like everybody always got something to say and i understand that everybody's entitled to their own opinion but some of you guys be saying the most fucked up shit and you guys don't have very nice constructive criticism you cannot easily just say oh it's not for me i don't like it i'll wait for the next one but no some of y'all immediately will say it's ugly or a doll is ugly if you find it ugly, don't say that it's ugly. Just say it's not in my taste or it's not for me. You know, a lot of times you don't think, you don't guys don't think that other people might see this. And to them, especially like designers or the artists that Mattel's collaborating with, you might be offensive. Like the words are offensive. Like, come on, think, think about other ways to say things. Stop being so fucked up in your words. And I'm sorry that I'm saying that, but it's true. Okay, here's the shawl. Looks like this. And you have, this has the Barbie with the little hearts. Personally, I wish this was just all pink. I didn't have all the Barbie and stuff, but it's really nice. It's very soft. I like the texture. Let me zoom out again. Super nice texture, really cute. And as for the necklace, this is the necklace. This is what you get. It's nice. Do I like it? No. I don't really care for the plastic accessories that much. Here's the bracelet. Mm. Here's another bracelet. Okay, we got that. And then you have your earrings that look like this. Yep. So they easily come off. So if you want to take them off, you can take them off. And then again, her, her little shoe. You guys have right there, little cute shoes. So yeah, so that's the doll. Let me dress up really quick and give you my quick final thoughts. Also, the sleeves also come off before I forget, so you could just take those right off. Um, but yeah, let me put her dress back on. All right, so there she is in her dress. Super cute. The plastic is off. The train is pretty long. Really, really nice. It needs some... Uh, steaming i would say because it's a little wrinkled from being in the box um other than that i love the hair that is super long again she needs a little bit of work on the hair um 
the face sculpt is just everything. I love this face. It's such a beautiful face. Angel did a fantastic job. And um, I did not show you guys the certificate that it comes with. This is cheap paper. I don't really care for this. The stand is okay. It has some glitter embedded inside the little base of the stand. And then you have like this. And you put her like, what is it? I got this shit on right, right? No, like this. Um, like that. Okay, so. Yeah, I really don't like these stands. I hate these stands. But uh, Angel, uh, Angel did a fantastic job designing this doll. Um, I am also looking forward for the new collaboration that's coming out. Everybody's seen. And FYI, people, please stop fucking criticizing the dolls. They're, if you don't like them, that means they're not meant for you. They're meant for a different type of audience, a different type of collector. You guys need to be more careful with the words that you guys choose to express yourselves. Like, some of y'all are too damn harsh on the words and saying this shit is ugly. Be nice, okay? Be nice. Yeah, but anywho, back to her. I'm glad that I got her. I'm going to take photos of her. I'm going to fix this hair. And thank you again for watching. Hope this was very helpful. And, and sorry that I had a little bit of a rant. But until next time, take care and enjoy your weekend. Have a good one, you guys.